Welcome to WMCA. I'm Reese Meyer. And I'm Teresa Larmieux. This week we're highlighting all of the fun things going on around MCA, such as makeup battles and guest speakers. What was Avogadro's favorite sport? Uh, I don't know. Golf, because he always got mole in one. Haha, -ha, so funny. Well, my chemistry joke had no reaction. Okay, Reese, enough of the chemistry puns. We all saw for it enough. Well, anyway, did you know this week is National Chemistry Week? Let's take a look to see what Rick and Morty have been up to. Morty, Morty, come here. I came up with this brilliant idea. Oh, God, Rick, what is it? No time for questions. Three, two, one. Jeez, Rick, you shrunk us. There's no time to point out the obvious. Now, come on. See, there's much to understand about the microscopic world. See, I bet you don't even know what this is. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just a giant battery. Wrong! Well, I mean, right, but it's also lithium. And what most people don't know is that it was actually me who invented the lithium-ion batteries. Oh, jeez. Wait, wait, wait. Rick, you're telling me it wasn't those geniuses that won the Nobel Prize? What were their names again? Good Enough, Whittingham, and Yoshina? No! Those were my buddies in college, dude! I used to call them not good enough. I guess he took the name and my idea. Oh, what's this? That's a penny, Morty. What? What? Did you not pass the third grade? Actually, Rick, they changed that rule back in 1982. It's mostly zinc now, and that's not even a metal. Okay, now I really know you didn't pass the third grade. You see, Morty, the periodic table is separated into metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. Zinc over here is obviously located in the metal section. See, now this, this, Morty, this is cool stuff. What's cool about aluminum foil? What's cool about aluminum foil? It's only present in about 270 minerals. It's literally the most abundant on Earth. Well, behind oxygen and silicon, of course. Wait, wait, what about water? I thought that was the most abundant metal on Earth. Morty, water is not a metal. Jeez, where did this guy even come from? Oh god, Morty, I don't, I don't have time for this here. Let's go. Rick? Rick? Where'd you go? Morty, Morty, come quick. I turned myself into Avogadro's number. I'm more red! Reese, we have been here for five years now. Doesn't eighth grade seem like it was so long ago? I know. I wonder if I would remember anything. We may not, but let's see if our teachers are smarter than the eighth graders. Hello, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than an Eighth Grader? Today we have Algebra 3 teacher, Ms. Lambert, and eighth grade student, Callan Hooth. Question one is in music. Draw a bass clef. So, like, it was the thing where, like, step on it and it makes the boom sound. You're both wrong. We're wrong? <laughs> You're both wrong. Question number two comes to you from dynamics. Draw a mind map. Correct. Oh, what? Yeah, that's a mind map. <laughs> oh, yes. Talent? I don't know what a mind map is, so it's a mind. <laughs> Question three. Name the Mount Carmel motto. Lambert answers first, Callan second, however, Miss Lambert, I unfortunately got it wrong. Oh man, Callan was right. Question whatever number we're on now. We'll be reading our math question. Watching their work is getting really intense. I wish I would have paid more attention in math class. So there is a winner, and I believe it's Miss Lambert. And um, I don't know if you got my joke, but it's spooky season. Final messages for the viewers? I just, I believe that anyone can learn the order of operations. <laughs> and that's all for Are You Smarter Than an Eighth Grader? Hey Kate, wanna see a magic trick? 
sure. Okay, right, 1300. Okay, then move the one and put it right next to the three. Ah, Miranda, why would you do that to me? It's Halloween. What? Halloween? I thought that was in November. No, silly. That's Christmas. Oh, um, you're right. So what are we doing for Halloween? Well, I'm ordering canes, and my mom's gonna pick it up and bring it to the school. Canes? At school? Y'all really do be whack. Why can you do that? Well, it's the Halloween picnic. The Halloween picnic? What? Yeah, everyone goes to lunch at the same time during Lunch at IS. There's games and a costume contest. Ooh, I should dress up as a Jesuit guy. No, that's against the rules. Rules? Of course, dog. You can't dress up as a student from any other school. No leggings and no shorts without leggings. Also, no clothing with any inappropriate messages. And of course, none of MCA's worst enemy. No glitter? Obviously. No, no glitter, glitter ever at MCA. Hold on, Miranda. Can we switch the language? I thought you said there was a costume contest. There is. Well, you're killing me, Smalls. What are the categories? There's funniest, scariest, best group, best pop culture reference, best duo, and scariest of all, the teacher department. <laughs> What other spooky things could I do at the Halloween picnic? Well, you can get snowballs for $3, free face paint, and games. That sounds like so much fun. Count me in. With all the events we have coming up this year, I really wish I was good at makeup. I know, me too. I know some of the teachers are. I know, even Mr. Cruz said he was better than I am. Maybe he can teach us. Let's take a look. My name is Gene Carew. I asked my client if she wanted to be a clown or get ready for prom. She chose prom, so I'm going to go more of a neutral and classy look. Uh, Mr. Helmstetter? You know, I think I'm really going to focus on the highlights and the uh, contouring. And the best man win. Yes. Good luck, loser. I mean, Miss Helmstetter. <laughs> coming to an end, but I still have a few questions I want the answer to. Like what? I'm sure we can figure it out. What teachers really do in their off periods? That's a good question. Let's find out. On my off periods, I like to listen to peaceful instrumental music, drink my coffee in the best mug that ever existed, and grade my papers. Also do a bit of prayer journaling. During my off period, I'm an organizational machine. I don't let one second go by without planning, especially for gym day. We're in the throes of it right now. There's so much to be done. Skit planning, costume organization. I can't have a moment's peace because I've got to write, I've got to work, and I've got to whip these girls into shape. It's gonna be epic. Say what about our colors? Shout pink, 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 pink and white, 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 white. <laughs> <laughs> my off periods, I mean, they are strenuous. I really have so much work that I have got to get done. You know, I have two kids at home, junior class moderator. This year I'm chairing the fair at St. Pius. I mean, I have got to use my off periods just every single moment to just get all the work done that I can. You know, I teach all honors American history, lots of essays to read. It's really important that I get all the work done at school that I can get done.
My off periods are so necessary to me. I do all of my work. I have AP this year, which requires me to read a lot of essays, so much grading. I mean, I do not at all have time to waste. Teresa, do not be afraid to get too mad. What do you mean? I'm not mad! No, make a difference! Oh, let's see what Arg Jackson has to say about doing you, boo. In a world where the world is hungry for people to make a difference, it's important that we do that work for ourselves. So that's why everything that I've gone through, I give to people so they don't have to wait 20, 30 years to get through it. They could do it like while they're in school and high school. I know from experience, holding on to a grudge will be the very thing that snatches opportunities away from you. Yes, little things can most definitely make a difference because I've like personally like um, done like made a difference through a little act before, and you'd be surprised. Would you rather be invisible or be able to fly? I think I'd rather be able to fly. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Reese. I've got a question of, of the, the week. week. What do um, you rather? Itchy. I rather sticky. Really? <laughs> sticky. I think that I would actually rather be without knees because with somebody who tries to make a living off of drawing and painting, it would not having elbows would definitely not work in my favor. I would rather be without knees. Birds. I would rather dogs attack me when they saw me because they could just be like attacking with love and I feel like birds would just be like... <laughs> smell bad. I think I'd always smell something bad because I feel as though like I could just ignore it over time. I would eat the Eucharist the rest of my life. I think I like to wear the Pope's hat. It's the easiest one. No stink, no fuss, no itchy. I'm okay, Pope's hat. I can deal with it. Well, that's all we have for this week. We'll see you same time, same place next week. But remember, go make the news because the news is TV too. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars oh let me see what spring is like on jupiter and mars Super Sam Mega. I stomp, stomp on Lucifer's sake. Now I got a fuel.